Overnight stardom can be harmful to your mental health. Yeah, it has ruined a lot of people. As a YouTuber who talks about somewhat controversial topics at times, obviously I've come to expect that some people will disagree with me. No big deal. In my opinion, comments on YouTube can be broken down into four categories. Positive slash supportive. Neutral – these are usually just people discussing the topic or giving their opinion. Critical – but in a civil way. For example, I respectfully disagree and here's my reasons why. All of these I'm fine with. These are the types of discussions and comments that make YouTube great. But unfortunately, there's a fourth category that doesn't help anyone or anything. Downright nasty. These are verbal attacks, threats, hurtful comments, viciousness, aggressive, angry behaviour, deliberate cruelty in some cases. Whether they're directed towards me or others, it doesn't really matter. YouTube have tried to crack down on these types of comments, but their automatic filters are only so good. I've been part of the online world for a long time now, and in the beginning, these first three categories were the norm. People treated people as people. But in recent years, there's a growing number of online commenters who are willing to resort to nastiness. It's something that they could only get away with online, because if they tried this sort of behaviour in real life, they'd very quickly find out the true consequences of their actions. If they did it in the workplace, they'd be sacked. If they spoke to their friends like this, they'd have no friends left. If they acted like this towards their wife or partner, they'd be divorced or dumped. But more importantly, if they spoke to strangers like this, they might just well be ostracised or even physically attacked. Obviously, they can only get away with these comments in the relative safety of the anonymous online world. And I suppose this is one of the biggest problems with social media – anonymous nastiness. Now I've reached a point in my YouTube career, if you can call it that, that I'm starting to see these comments on a daily basis. Unfortunately, it's starting to impact my mental health. Obviously, that's not good, and it's imperative that I find a way to alleviate this. In my opinion, there are only a few options that I can take. 1. Ignore this is probably the most common suggestion. Just ignore the haters. Don't reply to them. Don't lower yourself to their level. It's all good advice, but guess what? It doesn't work for me. I've tried. I really, really have tried. Just as you can't unwatch a terrible video, you can't unread a nasty comment. I can still remember some nasty comments from a couple of years ago. They're not worth repeating, but they have really sat with me. They fester, and that can't be good for my emotional health. So unfortunately, ignorance is not bliss in this case. 2. Disable all comments. This is a very drastic action, but I could disable all comments on my videos. I don't want to do this, because I think it would be punishing the majority of you who just want to discuss the topics in a civil and humane way. So I'm not going to do this. It would certainly only be a last resort. 3. Quit making videos. This is an even more drastic action, but I could let the trolls get to me and just quit making videos altogether. But that's simply not going to happen. I enjoy this too much, and I think quitting because of a handful of idiots wouldn't make any sense. And finally, 4. Don't read the comments. In my mind, this is the only viable option remaining. I can't risk reading the comments anymore because an increasing number of them are turning nasty. It's starting to really impact my mental and emotional health. Health has to come first, obviously, so unfortunately, this is the only option I have left. I've tried this before, and it did work, but I thought I'd give the comments section one last go. But the same thing is happening. Daily, hurtful, abusive comments. And quite frankly, I've had enough. I'm so sorry that it has to be this way, but as I said in the title of this video, for my own mental health, I can't listen to you anymore.